Uh, been a pretty dreary day. Cloud cover overhead most of the day, but again, continuing to clear out now. The radar picking up a little bit of light reflectivity, but nothing hitting the ground now. We'll stay dry overnight tonight as the system continues to move out of our area. Most of the rain up in Wisconsin and the UP will continue to move off to the north and east. We won't be seeing any showers here overnight tonight or into tomorrow as well. So here's a look at the recap from the month of April. Temperatures for the month were four degrees below average. And it felt like it too, especially with the cloud cover that we had seen a lot of the month as well. Precipitation with the rainfall we got just on Saturday that contributed to us getting over our precipitation total average for the month at uh, just over an inch above average at five inches of rain. As for snowfall, we were below average, but with the cooler temperatures, it really didn't feel like it here in the area. And uh, as for that cloud cover, I mentioned it was a really cloudy month. We tied a record for cloudiest month. We only observed 30% of our sunshine possible for the month of April that again tied 1980s record. We averaged just under 50% of sunlight for the month of April. So again, a really cloudy and fairly rainy month of April. And we started May on the same note with really cloudy skies today and will tomorrow and into Tuesday. We'll finally see the sunshine back again on Wednesday. Temperatures right now in the upper 40s for most and will continue to be so overnight tonight. That blanket of clouds is going to stay, stick around, keep those temperatures uh, pretty much where they are right now overnight tonight. We'll stay dry and cloudy for your Monday as well. Rain arriving again on Tuesday. Could see a few thunderstorms mixed in with that. And then we'll see cooler weather to start the first week of May. We'll finally get back into the 60s in the middle of the week and finally back to average temperatures for May by next weekend. So we're going to be dealing with, again, another week of what we'd seen most of May going into, or most of April going into that first week of May. Here's another look at satellite and radar. You can see all the cloud cover that's overhead, all of West Michigan under an overcast sky. Again, that's going to be the case overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning as well. The future track keeps the cloud cover all over West Michigan. We'll be mostly cloudy until the afternoon and the evening hours of Monday when the clouds finally lift, but then the next system moves in. We're going to be seeing showers uh, and some steady rainfall continue to move through West Michigan. This lifts into the area pretty much sticking around all day long as well. A few thunderstorms are possible in the afternoon and evening hours before the rain finally dies off through Tuesday evening and going into Wednesday. We'll see that sunshine finally return. And here's a look at the rainfall total and what we could expect to see. Some areas could easily see a localized over an inch of rain once again. And after a really rainy April, this is continuing the trend. We could see some localized flooding with it for areas that are oversaturated and maybe a few rivers and streams seeing some minor flooding as well. So keep that in mind as the system moves in on Tuesday that we could see some decent rainfall considering how much we've already seen. Here's a look at lows tonight. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Again, pretty much where they are right now. Not going to drop off too much tonight, but tomorrow back to the low to mid 50s. But if you're up near Muskegon and Fremont, temperatures could only be uh, in the low 50s. So a pretty chilly day, uh, especially compared to our average high of 65 degrees. And that'll be the case again on Tuesday with the showers and storms possible. Wednesday back to the 60s and some sunshine looks to be the best day of the week. By the time we get to Friday, maybe late Thursday night, more rain moves through. That looks to be less significant than what we're seeing on Tuesday. And then as we go into Sunday, temperatures back to the mid to upper 60s. And the CPC outlook for one to two weeks out, finally in the warmer than average category for the Great Lakes region and the eastern half of the U.S. I think by the time we get to tomorrow, our seven day forecast, we'll have a 70 degree in there. And that's a pretty nice sign to see with 50s for tomorrow and